What's up guys? Welcome to Top Form For You. Today I'm going to show you how you can install the Play Store on your Huawei MatePad Pro. As you can see, I've got the Play Store there working. So uh, I'm just going to install an app. So it's fully working, no errors. So I'm just going to take you through the step how you can get yours installed and working at the end. Um, as well so i've got play store i've got ebay they're all working fine youtube loading fine so i can play let's search for as you can see it's it's everything's is working fine no errors so, uh, but before we do, I'm just going to show you this um, tablet is running on a firmware, not uh, the firmware it's running on. It's on the firmware 10.01.177. It's an older firmware. There is an update, but I've not updated it. So, um, I'm not sure if once you update, if you'll be able to install it. So, uh, just say. Uh, if your tablet has got a different firmware, you might not be able to install Google Play Store. So it's guaranteed to work if you got an older firmware from this version here, as you can see there. So I'm just going to do a factory reset on the tablet. And then uh, I'll uh, take you through the, uh, the installation. So I'm just going to do a factory reset once it's fully uh, reset and then I'll show you how you can get Google Play services on the tablet for you Okay, as you can see I've now reset the tablet. It's uh, got no Play Store and no Google services. So uh, uh, I'm just gonna show you this is the uh, This model the model number is there is uh, MRX W09 so different verb uh, different tablet different phone will have different firmware versions so uh, this version um, uh, only works for this uh, uh, MatePad Pro okay so let's get started so I'm just gonna open uh, the browser browser is up and running so I'm just gonna go to Google so on there just search XDA Google Fire. So once you search the first link, I just tap on the first link to open it up. Then scroll down. Just uh, tap OK. Continue. Yes. Just uh, I'll scroll down to. We well, see download the uh, Google Fire from XDA forum. Just tap on that. Now accept and scroll down. So we see here where it says uh, click download and then click on Google Fire English and then download at the bottom. As you can see there, so it's downloading. Just wait till it's finished downloading. Make sure you follow the step, uh, step by step, because once you jump, uh, you miss a step, it might not work. It might start getting errors. So please follow the instructions step by step for it to work. It has now finished downloading. You just tap on that. Then uh, just tick that don't ask me again and then allow. And then just tap on install. Then done. So you can now close the browser. Go back to the main screen. There you go. So that's the app we just installed. You just open it up. And then you just 
tap on never mind let me in then next 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 that's then let's go allow allow okay so uh, first thing you need to do just tap on the backup and then it will ask you to change the date so you just tap on okay then turn off auto um, updates and then uh, change the date to 2019 and then okay and then go back now tap again on the backup it will, it's going to remove the backup up and then uh, uh, install uh, an, another version just tap on okay then okay don't ask and then allow and then tap on install and then done so just tap on next agree then just tap on the three dots on the top right and then restore from internal storage and then tap on that one and then restore and then tap on the password is bender 007 and then okay and then done now then now open the g icon then activate allow then tap on the blue button at the bottom now close that and then reopen the google fire app and then tap on number one and then it will ask you to change the date back to automatic uh, just tap OK and then switch that back on. Then go back. Then tap on one. Just tap on OK. Then install. And then and then what you need to do there just do sign in. Sign in again. And then uh, here you need to put your Gmail account. Uh, you want to log in on the tablet on play store so i'm just gonna type in my uh, google account once you put your gmail account and password you just tap on next and then agree the terms and condition and that's uh, done so uh, if you want to add a multiple account you can just uh, tap on uh, number two and then it will allow you to add another account for you if you've got more than one gmail account you want to use so but i'm just gonna go next so go i'm just gonna jump on to number three because i've already logged in uh, with my gmail account so i'm just gonna go number three and then install so uh, on this side uh, once uh, you tap ok so uh, Google services will come up and then you just need to tap uninstall. So I'm just going to uh, and then uninstall and then OK and then install this one. Done. So now I just need to open Play Store. Uh, see uh, you can start getting errors uh, but it will log in fine on the play store so i'm just gonna put the sound down okay so uh, as you can see i'm just gonna search for an app make sure it works Install, continue, escape. Oh, as you can see there, G, uh, Google, uh, it's working, but I've got a few apps. So I'm just gonna open the Google Fire again, then tap on number three, and then, okay. Install, done, so, 
just need to open Play Store again, install another app. Okay, that's done. I'm just going to go to the settings and then accounts, Google, make sure sync, all the contact sync is on. Yeah. Then go back, open Google Fire, and then tap on number three again. Okay. So stop then uninstall okay okay then install done so we just open play store so it's still working here search for okay open there that stop clear data okay now restart the tablet once it's back on uh, just uh, open play store again retry retry okay let's open google file again never mind let me in okay and then tap on three okay uninstall okay then install this one done then uh, let's open up play store try It's back on, but with uh, the errors. So you just open Google Fire again, tap on that. Okay, so just tap on fix. Okay, still getting errors. So just tap on that. And then number three again. Installed. Okay. Then okay. Then install. Done. Let's open uh, Play Store. So where uh, it is uh, on? Let's search for an app. working but still uh, the air is still coming up so just wait till it's installed and let's open it back uh, google fire again tap on number three okay for stop stop storage clear data and then restart again okay once it's back on let's go back open play store i'm just uh, gonna close everything in the background
so now it's working but no errors so it's um, just wait till they finish installing it's fine and then let's finally let's open that again okay and then tap on number three and then okay and then first stop and then uninstall okay and then install this one done so uh, let's go back open play store to make sure it's working just uh, let's close everything logged in let's search for Okay, eBay installed. Um, so as you can see, all those notification error has have now stopped. So I can open YouTube. Search for. As you can see there, it's working and then no errors. So let's open uh, that Google Fire one more time. Top, and then it will say there to see the services are already installed and working so just tap ok so, uh, um, so google map I guess as you can see there google map working youtube ebay all working fine no more errors There you go, everything is working and at the Play Store. So I'm just gonna restart one more time to make sure no errors comes up. So the tablet is back on. So I'm just gonna open up Play Store. There, it's... Uh, Gonna search for VBS install. It's uh, working fine. There you go. So uh, as you can see, I've got Google working. So uh, YouTube Kids working, no problem. Let me install um, install Chrome. So um, there you go. That has been installed. That's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, and uh, if you did, uh, just uh, like and comment uh, in the section below. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel and enable notification for my latest video. I'll be making more video about what happened once uh, I've got Play Store and updated to that new firmware and um, what happened to the Play Store. Will it stop working or will it carry on working? So uh, make sure you enable notification for my latest video. Thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one.